Good morning. It is August the 15th, 2013. Rakaya Celestia is Faye here. And um, this is another one of my tutorials. And um, this tutorial is basically going to show you how you can get um, apps, how you can use the um, Google Chrome apps for um, certain things that you, um, you know, that, it's basically some of the same apps that you got on the, that you have on your phone you can get on your desktop so um basically when you get on when you open up your Google Chrome it should open up like a window that you know mostly it says most visited and then you want to click over to apps where you can see down here and um, it just basically maneuvers through and as you can see I use a lot of different apps some of these apps I don't even use that I need to clean off but um right now what I want to show you is um, you know how you can grab a, um, a app back here and basically download it and use it um, so like you know when you come back here it's just a whole bunch of apps you know that you can basically snag and um, you know it's even games and stuff like here and all of this is free majority of this is free um, there's some type of free component to it some you know you could upgrade to use more of the advanced levels of um, the app it all depends on what you're trying to get um, so like if you need a screen capture type of app you just type in a keyword over here and then you know Google Chrome is to show you which um, screen capture you know that they have the one that I really like is um, Clip Clipdar. I don't even know how to say the word the name, but I use this one because it's pretty cool. It's web-based. Once you um, clip something, it's web-based. You don't have to download it onto your computer right away until you're ready to use that capture. Um, I'll show you that in a second. But like to download an app, you just click on Add to Chrome, and then you click Add, and then it uh, add it into your you know that little space that's right on the side of your search bar um, area that's where you know you will see the little tab for this so um, right now we're gonna go ahead and utilize clip clip dar <laughs> whatever it's called um, clicking on it right now is it gonna work for me who knows I don't know Okay, so well, let's go ahead and proceed with the tutorial. Um, so let's say if I wanted to clip, um, say I wanted to clip a picture of bunnies or something like that, you know. So say I wanted to clip this, I can click um, once you download Clipped R to there, like I just showed you. You can either click the icon and it'll show up like this. And the scissors is what you use to clip. See? Or you can simply click, I mean, um, press Alt-C and it'll do the same thing. And you just highlight whatever it is that you want to click. It'll make like a little camera sound. It'll blink and that's how you know that your image was just clipped. And then you click on the icon again and as you can see your picture is right here um, it's also a camera tool that uh, takes shot of the whole screen so the camera shot takes a shot of the whole screen and then if you go to the book area it'll open up the other tab and like I told you this is web based so you know that's one thing that I really like about it it'll store all of your clip um, images in here which is pretty cool so this is the one that I just clipped of the little bunnies and if you want to save it you right click it brings up this little box you click save image as and then you name it and then you hit save and you put it in whatever folder that you want whether it's your desktop or whatever and um, that's how you do that and if you wanted to just like simply syndicate it on to Facebook right then, 
it's a Facebook tool right up there. And you could just say, look at my bunnies. Of course, I'm not about to put this on my thing, but, you know. And you could just, like, share the link. Well, it, you know, it'll share, share this little photo and the link. And people can click on it and go to it. Um, it's a pretty cool tool. And also, like, if you wanted to, you know, um, add in some annotations to this, you know, it has, like, a draw area where you can do, like, cool effects. Totally change the look, which is pretty cool. And whatever effect that you choose, you would just click Apply. I'm going to click Cancel because I'm not going to do that. You can add cool stickers. We can give the bunny a little hat, you know. Oh, it'll fit on that one a little bit better. You can give the little bunny a little hat or whatever. <laughs> you can just do really cool stuff. See, now the bunny has a hat. Or you, you know, give the bunny a bow tie. And the bow tie is going all types of crazy ways. See, you give the bun, you know, you could, you could do a lot of cool stuff with this. You know, I think I'm gonna keep that because I think that's really cute. And um, you know, you can crop images, and then press, you know, apply. I'm not gonna crop it. Um, you can adjust brightness on images which is really cool and like this could be a, like a little image editor that's why I really like this particular tool because you can do so much with it so like I wouldn't even have to open up my you know my Photoshop to you know do anything I could just pop on open this app right here and um, edit the photos like I want to and um, like I said if you want to do the little annotations this is how like if you ever seen my photos of you know my results with my business you know I use this for my um, you know my arrows which that's a really funny looking arrow <laughs> and you can just like you know simply erase it by using the erase tool and you know get rid of that very simple easy or just click cancel um, also you can add text Cute bunnies. I want it to be pink. You know, you can add cool text. You can change the text font. You know, and um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you know, you could do a lot of little different things on here. I'll keep that on there because I think that's cute. So um, you know, those are little things that you can you can do. So I think I'm gonna use this photo right here as my um, that's my thumbnail for this video, but you can definitely, um, do a lot of things with this tool right here, and after you do all the edits that you wanted to do, you just click save, click that little X box, and there it is. There is your edited photo and your clip photo. Very easy, very simple. Um, I highly re recommend this particular screen capture tool. It's very easy to use. And it's fun to use, and you can make real cool, you know, photos and things like that. I did a couple, you know, of, like I said, you know, I used it to do my arrows and stuff. Very easy to use. So I really hope this helped you, and um, you went through the process of, um, you know, adding it again, just to recap. Um, so you know how to add it. You just click on, you come over here, type in clip, clip dar, whatever. <laughs> you come over here and you clip that I mean not clip that but you come over here and you type that in here and um, I probably just murdered that name but uh, just come over here put that name in there it should come up directly up or just type in screen capture like I did and click add to Chrome click add and it'll show up on your side it'll be like a little C it'll show up on on the side right directly after the search bar you can't see it right now because I'm not capturing that area but um and just click it and go ahead and clip your photos whatever it is that you want and um, that is the, the end of this tutorial let me know um, give me any feedback 
And um, also, if you need a tutorial on how to do something, leave a comment below, and um, I will definitely do a video for you. So this is Rakaia Celestia's Faye. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.